Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're going red once again. I'm gonna be testing the A-Fox, it's another one of those foxes, <laughs> Radeon RX 6600 XT. It's just a normal 6600 XT made by A-Fox. A-Fox is not really a very well-known brand here in Europe and the United States and stuff, uh, but they're starting to introduce their stuff into the market here. This GPU has a 100 160 watt TDP uh, with an 8 pin power connector right there by the way um, and it shouldn't really be that hard to cool but it reaches 80 degrees Celsius maybe it's my room because it's 35 plus degrees Celsius in here I don't have air conditioning and it, it's really really toasty but anyways I kind of like the design here because of those red accents and carbon fiber accents and it has a back plate even as you can see it's a plastic back plate doesn't do any Thing really it's actually locked to 130 watts instead of, of the 160 but I've seen that some other lower-end models like the Gigabyte Eagle for example are also locked to 130 watts so that's a common thing with 6600 XT's as long as the uh, frequency is high enough and it's performing like a 6600 XT which it is from what I tested so far um, it's fine all right so let's talk a little bit about this beast. I'm really looking forward to this because on paper it should be just slightly faster than a GTX 1080 Ti and we all know that the 1080 Ti is still somewhat of a beast, right? Even five years later. But of course this being a recent GPU it consumes way less power, it also has less VRAM, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, 2048 shading units, it released supposedly for 379 US dollars that's the MSRP but of course we all know that GPUs these days well we, we can't go by MSRPs anymore unfortunately this sells for around like 400 bucks sometimes you can actually find it for less than MSRP which is great and well let's just put it to the test in 2022 shall we and it's desktop time AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT showing up there beautifully in MSI Afterburner along with the latest AMD drivers, Adrenaline 22.5.2. These are the clock speeds right here. I actually pushed the power limit to plus 20%, so it, we can utilize a little bit more power. Um, and you can check out all of its specs here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z. It's a PCI Express 4.0 times 8 card. Over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's 3200 megahertz CL14. And let's get right into the first game. And the first game is Cyberbug 2077 at 1080p using the high settings preset without motion blur, high textures as well, FSR is turned off, and over here these are the settings, high crowd density, that's what matters here. Let's go! Oh my god, this is, this is actually way better than what I was expecting! Damn! Alright, can't wait to test more resolutions and settings here with the 6600 XT next week, guys! Oh boy! This is really good. Also, the power usage is only going up to like 140 watts maximum, I believe, but it's not a 99% usage, the GPU, so um, yeah. Wow, it's it's really insane, guys. This is a 60 plus FPS experience at native 1080p resolution. I'm not sure why I wasn't expecting this, honestly. This is a strong GPU after all, but I, I just thought it wasn't really gonna get uh, th these insane FPS. I thought it was gonna get like 70 on average, maybe. Wow insane it's performing way better than like a 1080 ti as well because it's a newer card what the what what is happening these days with cyberbug i mean what the stop it stop oh boy i screwed my car no all right it's fine <laughs> Stop, stop bumping into me. What the heck? See, guys, I, I, I have my reasons to call it Cyberbug. I, I got in a problem. Well, me too. Me too. It's too hot in here. <laughs> and the GPU is also a little bit too hot at 80 degrees Celsius. Still safe by AMD standards. All right. So should be no problem. But it's also a little bit loud. And I actually needed to open my PC case. I am not using the side panel on right now because otherwise it would get uh, even hotter, of course. Valorant at high settings, four times MSAA using the 1440p resolution. This is a very easy game to run. Five. I missed Valorant, guys. 500 F... Oh, God. Yeah, let's get wrecked, shall we? <laughs> okay, this is bad. People are good in this game and I am not good in this game. All right, we got one. We got one. Let's go. Can we get more kills than one? Oh, no. 
No? Okay. How am I not dead? I have no idea, friends, but we made it. We are still alive. Another one down. Yes, I keep switching to the knife because of CSGO skills. You know, that, that's how it works in CSGO. You always got to sh show your knife. What the hell are you doing there? Now, there is a little bit of a problem here in Valorant. It is utilizing our full GPU right now. So it's actually getting kind of very hot, 83 degrees Celsius. They say it's fine. AFOX said it's fine, but I, I don't really feel comfortable with this, guys. Honestly, it's just a little bit too much. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, love over hat. What? What? No. Oh, hate. Of course. <laughs> what? Oh, get wrecked, boy. Get wrecked. Oh my God. What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? People just camp everywhere. Oh, 320 FPS is probably like the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy guys, okay? This is super playable. Even if you have a 240Hz 1440p monitor, you're gonna have a great experience. I just... I can't! How was that a headshot? <laughs> Fourth place. Well, it could be worse. And now it's the old ring or the Elden Ring. Actually, 1080p maximum settings and I'm just gonna disable this motion blur. Let's kill some guards. Oh boy, this is bad. Uh, actually, my controller is... Uh, the, the batteries are out on it, so I can't really use it today, unfortunately. Get this guy. Let's go. Good stuff. Uh, we gotta go with mouse and keyboard. That's why I'm gonna suck a lot here, okay? Well, we're actually doing great so far. And the uh, 6600 XT is also doing really well. Look at that. Oh, no. This guy This guy is actually the, the worst. <laughs> I'm really scared of him. He killed me like a hundred times probably already. So, okay. Oh, look at him. He's so fierce. Let's go. Let's go. Can we get him? Oh, boy. I maybe should lock. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Maybe we should just go, I, yeah. So as you can see, GP utilization is far from being maxed out. It's actually at 69%, okay. Yeah, it's, it looked like it was at 69% locked, <laughs> weirdly. That, that's beautiful, obviously, love it every time. I just thought that it was gonna perform a little bit worse, honestly. <laughs> that's why it shows 1080p here. And AMD, surprisingly and kind of weirdly, they, they actually um, aim this GPU at 1080p gaming. Although I think it's really, really good for 1440p as well. So I'm not really sure what to test here today. Are you guys playing at 1080p or 1440p with 6600 XTs? Because I, I, I don't know. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. I am dead. And now it's Call of Duty Warzone using the 1080p resolution maximum settings, guys. As you can see, aside from like motion blurs uh, and ray tracing. And that's that's the GPU hotspot, by the way, right there. Oh boy, it's already at 100 plus degrees Celsius. That's not good. That's not good. Hey, Fox, please fix. All right, let's drop in the capital area right away. And did somebody ask for a high refresh rate experience? at 1080p resolution with the highest settings well that's exactly what you get with the 6600 xt it's not 144 plus all of the time but it is pretty damn nice look at that now that we're in the ground um well honestly i thought it was going to be slightly better than this because <laughs> in the warm-up i was seeing like 130 140 most of the time uh, but yeah this is one of the most intensive areas so that's normal that it's dropping a little bit still super butter very smooth uh, even at these settings and well if you must absolutely have 144 plus fps all of the time it is possible if you drop the settings a little bit because uh, it's it's so close anyway right come on come on get over here nice he's down oh did he throw this nade or did i just uh, fart <laughs> i want that let's go oh i will grab your car and get the heck out of actually actually i'm gonna kill you first thank you <laughs> i just noticed that we got a heavy machine gun on top of our truck but no one is utilizing it because i'm playing alone guys if you want to add me feel free <laughs> channel members please tell me what you think oh my god okay that instantly died 
I instantly died as well. Now it's Forza Horizon 5 at 1080p, ultra settings preset, not extreme. I actually tried extreme first and it was VRAM bound. So uh, it was getting like 60 FPS with stuttering. But at ultra settings, it looks just as good and it gets insane FPS. I actually thought we'd be seeing these FPS at high settings and high settings is way less intensive than ultra by the way in this game okay city area which is much more intensive dropping from 100 frames per second already into the 90s sometimes but it's still not a problem obviously it doesn't stutter whatsoever it's so smooth it's, it's just incredible it's a really incredible experience at 1080p ultra guys i just want to check it out now at the end of this tunnel let's see 81 fps for a split second it's always going to be very good here so 25 65 1440 ultra settings just want to see if it drops or not in that tunnel uh i i doubt it will it's still super smooth look at that oh people please stop putting yourselves in front of me all right that, that was close actually back there um as you can this is still ultra settings guys this is still ultra settings at 1440p. It's just, it's so damn good. Looking at the entire city, we get uh, 80s at times. Not a huge difference comparing to 1080p. It's about like what, a 10 to 20 FPS difference. Still really smooth and playable, obviously. Uh, it's just amazing. It's ultra settings. So I, I'm used to playing with these FPS on high when I'm testing this game, at least lately. You know, because I've been testing like the Titan X, 1650 Supers and stuff. So, uh, yeah, th th this is just really, really good. So much faster. 70 FPS minimum, basically. Or 69. And now it's the gorgeous Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p using the favor quality preset on maximum, basically. But the game is not maxed out. Motion blur is turned off as well. Oh, there is my boy Roach. Finally. Very nice. Let's kill Bob, shall we? Ooh, dropping into the lower 60s right now. So this game is super <laughs> intensive. There it goes, Bob. <laughs> 69 average so far. Pretty great stuff. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go to a swamp area, which is slightly more gpu intensive um yeah so far so good 70s so sorry buddy but uh, i need police to come after me there you go there they are come on reload arthur oh, i got no more ammo on that okay i just want to keep things a little bit more intensive with the oh boy that's that's insane roach please don't stop right now why are you doing this damn it roach this is not going according to plan. I just want to go to that area. And how can they even see me? It's foggy weather. And they're they're behind bush. Damn it! Okay, so the Saint Denis area, that city, isn't really the most intensive area in the entire game. So that means that it will actually drop from 60 FPS every now and again. Um, over here, it's actually pretty nice. As you can see, it's not dropping, but it's really close to 60 frames per second. But I guess in like Strawberry, which people say it's way more intensive than the, the Saint Denis area in this area, well, it's probably gonna drop there. So keep that in mind. Still not bad whatsoever. Obviously, a single player title. You don't really need 60 plus all of the time. And now it's Stutter Night, 1080p, high settings using 100% resolution scaling and DirectX 12 and um, ooh, th those are actually pretty good FPS if only it didn't stutter like hell I would love it you know I can feel those 1% lows in the single digits already look at this it's so terrible and it's the game it's the game's fault not the GPU not the specs okay it happens every single time here seems like this season is a little bit worse for DirectX 12 oh boy okay wait 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 over here, boy. There we go. There we go, my boy. Oh, all right, we're good. We're, let's just uh, follow him around, shall we? Maybe. No, wait. It has copyrighted music. Stop the radio. Why does it always start with the radio? Come over here. Come over here. I know you don't have a weapon. Otherwise, you'd have killed me already. Um, maybe we should go. So it's definitely better than the RX 6600. 
that GPU was getting around like 140, 150, I think. So around 20 FPS better. That's pretty nice. And way better than something like an RTX 3050. That's for sure. And you know what? The, the high settings are looking pretty sharp. Sharper than usual because the anti-aliasing is turned off now by default. Oh my gosh, tons of explosions around here. What the hell is happening? Where are the people at? Oh, hello there. Oh boy. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Okay, thank you. Oh my, so much stuttering. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, ah, we got him, we got him. Nice. Oh, and we did. Time for CSGO. 1080p, low settings, high textures, four times MSAA, and it's a deathmatch. Let's win this one, shall we? Start counting the frames. Hello. You look a little bit fuzzy, buddy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, another one, and there's Fuzzy again. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Oh boy. Thank you. Ash, 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 ash. Okay. What the heck are you doing there, bot? There we go. Ash, ash, ash again. Very nice. We are doing this, guys. 500 FPS at times. No problems here. This is butter, basically. Very, very good experience. I think we should definitely try out the AWP as well, by the way. Uh, in just a little bit. When I die. When I die, I'll switch to the, the AWP. Come on. All right. <laughs> Getting a few stutters, by the way. No, no bullets anywhere. Hello there. <laughs> it's over. It's over for you. Another one down. Ash, ash, ash. Love that guy, always killing him. <gasps> is it a revenge? Yes, it is. <laughs> no. No, I missed. Oh my God, stop, I am panicking. Okay, all right, we got this. Right, yes, it's over for you again. <laughs> all right, we should go with the... Oh, that's a bot, okay. He was, was he shooting the, the chicken? What the hell? Nice, Oh. I'm missing a lot of shots here with the op. We only died three times. What the hell? No, no. All right. Ah, Fuzzy got his revenge. Oh boy. Oh, hello. No, no. How are we so bad? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Oh, that guy. Oh, it's a bot. Bot Joe, the best player ever. Here we go with the Barrettas, guys. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, three down. Oh, let me switch to the up. Thank you. But Adrian, let's get out of here now. Don't like to camp. All right. It's just an AFK guy. Doesn't count. Another one. Okay. No, not from behind. You. Ah, sha, 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 sha. I missed. No. Come on. I'm going to get him. I'm good. I, I promise, guys. Let's go. Where is he? There he is. I told you it's bot done. <laughs> A bot moving that way. That was weird, dude. Oh, no. Ah, bot Joe. All right. Got him. Got another one there. We're dominating a lot of people today, friends. <laughs> Another one. Jesus, dude. It's a good idea for me to use the AWP in these death matches, isn't it? Oh, I missed. I think there's one here. Not too sure. Oh, gotta reload. Wait. No. Stop. Stop. Ah! No, what the? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Don't don't you shoot me, please. Thank you. <laughs> what is happening here? Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Hello there. Kind sir. I'm going to knife you. Yeah, boy, get wrecked. No, oh, only 10 seconds left. I'm enjoying this so much, dude. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> Terrible. All right, we only killed um, 84 people in this server. Next up is God of War at 1080p resolution, 100% render scaling with no AMD FSR, ultra settings preset, and look at this. This is actually 60-ish. It will definitely drop from 60, guys, unfortunately. But the thing is, if you play on high settings, it will look just as good and you'll actually get like 90 FPS on average. I tested it previously. Um, yeah, over here it gets pretty intensive, as you can see, 50s. It's still okay, obviously, because this is a single-player title. You don't need 60 plus all of the time. Um, but it's a little bit underwhelming. I guess this game is just really intensive on ultra settings. Dropping into the 40s now. Uh, but again, keep in mind that on high settings, it will be a perfect experience, always above 60, guys. I'm just testing it on ultra because a lot of people, again, said that this is the perfect 1080p card. Well, you can't really max out every game at this res, though, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, still, pretty playable and smooth experience. It's getting around the same FPS as the 1080 Ti in this one. This is usually pretty intensive, this cutscene. I'm surprised that it's not really dropping too much from 60 FPS. I thought it was gonna drop into the 40s. It's not bad. If I go ahead and set it to high settings, it applies everything, by the way. No need to restart. It gets 70s here, so no less than 60 FPS anymore. And uh, now it should get as 90 frames per second once again. So this is definitely how I'd play this game. High settings at 1080p. Again, it looks basically the same as Ultra. I can't really tell a difference uh, aside from side-by-side -side comparisons, of course. But even then, it's hard to find a difference. Um, and this is flawless right now. Uh Okay, no, I, sh I should probably use this. Yes, there we go. This is better. <laughs> That's much easier. All right, come on. Yeah, exploding things and stuff. Not a problem, guys. You can play this game very comfortably here at high settings 1080p. Even at 1440, it should be doable. And now it's PUBG at 1080p using ultra settings. I got a question, guys. Why did nobody drop with us here in Pochinki? That's weird, right? This is the best city. So it seems like it is a high refresh rate experience at 1080p Ultra here. It doesn't really drop from like 120 frames per second. And we're looking in this direction, of course, entire city, and it's not dropping. So I, I think it's fair to say that it's gonna be a flawless experience in PUBG as well. Aside from some stuttering issues that happen every once in a while, right now frame time is perfectly smooth, but uh, I will show you when it happens again. Okay, there we go. Did you see that, guys? Another one there. It might be loading something, but uh, yeah, that's that's not really that normal, is it? Oh boy, another one. That was a huge one. As we are venturing into Pachinki, it's starting to stutter a little bit more. So it seems like this season of PUBG is not really that well optimized, unfortunately. Finally found the smoke grenade. That's the most intensive thing that you can do in this game, is throw this thing out. Gotta load the smoke grenade, I guess, so uh, we got some stuttering again. And uh, just stand here for a bit, and you will see your FPS dropping massively. But it's not too bad, I was expecting it to drop more inside of smokes. It usually does. Wow. It is time for the beautiful GTA 5. We're playing this one at the 4K resolution because it's an older title, very easy to run. Very high settings. I had to disable reflection MSAA, otherwise we'd get no reflections with this card, weirdly. Advanced settings are all turned off and let's do this. I was noticing some stuttering issues here. I'm not sure if anything was still loading or something, but it was very weird. Um, anyways, right now it seems to be playable, but yeah, those little frame time spikes are still there. I think I've also seen that with the 6900 XT and some other GPUs, maybe the 3060 Ti, I don't remember that honestly, but yeah, at 4K res, they do get a few stutters here and there, and they can be a bit annoying, honestly. So you might want to lock your FPS to like 60 to have a smoother experience. Oh boy, that one wanted to die, okay. We're definitely not going to crash into anybody today, my friends. This is going to be perfect. <gasps> Car is completely wrecked right now. I don't like it. But hey, we got to the grassy area, which is the most intensive area here in my benchmark run. And as you can see, it does drop from 60 FPS sometimes, even at 4K. But 
if you play at 1440p, this is Jacqueline. I, I don't like you, Jacqueline. Go away. But yeah, it's not a problem. If you want more FPS, you can drop it to 1440p or 1080p. Add some anti-aliasing as well. It will look very good and it will play above 60 all of the time. I'm just playing it at 4K here. Goodbye, Bob. Uh, he was older, wasn't he? <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla now, 1440p, 100% render scaling using the ultra high settings preset, guys. Yes, we're maxing it out. Just gonna disable this, by the way. Now, Valhalla is actually very well optimized for AMD GPUs. So the NVIDIA equivalent of the 6600 XT in this game should run considerably slower than this. This is actually super impressive. These are around the same FPS that we were seeing with the 3060 Ti, which should be a lot faster than this, actually. So super, super impressive that we're seeing almost 69 FPS on average, right? Come on, there we go. That for a split second. Well, at least we saw it here, right? <laughs> yeah, I actually tested the 3060 Ti in Valhalla a week ago and it got 77 FPS average at 1440p, very high settings, not ultra high. So on ultra high, it should be pretty similar to this. It's very impressive. It's Apex Legends now, 1080p, highest settings aside from this right here, which introduces stuttering. Okay, looking at this entire map is probably one of the most intensive things that you can do in Apex Legends and it's getting 100 plus still. So this is definitely gonna be a high refresh rate, competitive experience. Smoke grenade, getting still really high FPS inside of the smoke. That that's really impressive, actually. There are a couple of squads around here. Let's try to go upstairs. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe let's just try to get these bastards. Wait a second. Do you have something for me, please? Yes, they do. Thank you very much. Wait a second. Everybody is getting killed by that Chinese guy. He's cheating for sure. Like, what the hell is that? All right, wait. Oh my god, that was terrible. Why did everything miss? I was shooting at him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, now let's let's just throw a smoke there and pretend we went in that direction and actually go in this direction, please. No, no, no. Oh boy. No, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, oh no, wait. No, don't go back. What are you doing, Crisp? Damn it. I can hear them. No, there's another one there. Ooh, is it the cheater, guys? Is it the cheater? Wait. No, it's not. Uh, they're part of a squad. Damn it. I wanted to see my ultimate. No, oh, boy. I'm screwed. Am I not? Uh, I got him. I got him. I got him. All right. And there's your friend of the bastard. Oh, I don't have bullets anymore. I am gonna die. And let's see some beautiful explosions. And demanding ones. There we go, dropping into the 100 FPS mark. That's not bad, actually. Whoa! Okay. And finally, the last game is Dying Light 2 at 1080p using the DirectX 12 API and the high settings preset. So if zombie parkouring is your kind of thing, you can definitely play this at max settings almost. More than this would be... Uh, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, that's better. <laughs> A higher preset than this would be the ray tracing preset, which I definitely don't recommend with this card. Actually, I don't recommend the ray tracing preset with any card. <laughs> Even my 3080 Ti struggled a bit with ray tracing in this game. Uh, it also stutters a lot for some reason using RT. I don't know, it's just not an option that you should utilize in Dying Light 2, in my opinion, or with these mid-range GPUs either, because it's just too intensive. So I guess we have seen enough here, right? That's, that's There's not much else to it. It gets really nice FPS in this game, around 80 to 90 most of the time. Sometimes it drops, but it never drops from 60 FPS. So it's conclusion time. Do I recommend the RX 6600 XT in 2022? Yes, I do. If you can find it for MSRP or lower, it's actually a pretty decent deal. Right now in Portugal, it costs 405 euros. So it's a little bit too much for a 6600 XT, in my opinion, especially now that the prices are finally dropping, right? And that's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.